eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity. Legi, Legi, Balano start. Before we witness the traditional handing over of the official divine mercy image from the St. Peter's community to the St. Kizido community, community. We want to make a few announcements. And we have very important people with us. Today I would like to, to say that for the first time ever, we have a minister with us in this position. I would like to welcome in a special way, Honorable Fair, Okay, I'm, I'm sure we are all happy to have a minister with us. He is here with his wife and family. So, Kizitos, you have done us wonderful. We will start with that song. But really, we want we want Mazi at different places. The first stop will be at the convent. We will dance and sing. When we stop at the convent, we go on our knees and we adore our Jesus. That's our preoccupation. So now I will allow the parish priests and the youths of St. Peter's to come over in a moment to hand over the divine mercy image to the youth and the uh, parish priest of St. Kizitos. But I, will ask, I want to ask each of you a favor. Are you ready?
Divinity 
Thank you for watching that was the highlight of the Dubai Masi celebration of 2023 and this is Fida Life. Fida Life comes your way every Friday and today we have Father Moses Drame who will be telling us about adoration and blessed sacrament. I have a few questions for Father Moses Drame. I'll let him to say some few words. Thank you very much my dear viewers, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ and uh, welcoming you once again to this important program Fiat Life. Thank you, Father. Father, I have a few questions for you. One of the questions is, what is adoration? Thank you very much. When we talking about adoration, um, it is within the context of the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. And when uh, the Blessed Sacrament is exposed, it is to be understood that Jesus is present among us soul and divinity what we see before us appears in the form of bread but first and foremost we need to understand that that which appears in the form of bread is already consecrated and the consecrated host is what is exposed and it is exposed in a monstrance and the monstrance is that beautiful object in which the host is placed in a pyx and fixed in a lunette so that everybody, wherever one may be, will be able to view Jesus who is present among his people, soul and divinity. And that Jesus present, the second person of the Blessed Trinity, is the one present. Therefore, we render all worship, adoration that is due to him because he is also God. Okay, thank you, Father. So the second question is, when the Blessed Sacrament it is on the altar, how should we react? How we should behave? Thank you very much. When the Blessed Sacrament is exposed, all the people of God are expected to first and foremost be on their knees. And being on your knees is a sign of humility, is a sign of unworthiness, and a sign of total submission and surrender to God who is present among his people. And uh, this is not um, a, a New Testament practice. No, it dates back to the time of the people of old, the people of the Old Testament. When they behold the Ark of the Covenant, they would go on their knees in order to worship God. And that was what for us in the New Testament, Jesus is the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is present in uh, the monstrance. God is present among his people. We cannot but worship him. And we are all expected to go on our knees. Even if you cannot uh, kneel, you are expected to sit and not to stand. And that is why during adoration and benediction at Mass, you would see that when the Blessed Sacrament is removed from the tabernacle, everybody would go on his or her knee to show worship and adoration. A sign of reverence to the sacred. Thank you. So the third question is, how can we adore the Blessed Sacrament? We can adore the Blessed Sacrament. This is a very beautiful question. The posture and the gestures are very important. The how. We can adore the Blessed Sacrament prostrating, that is going flat on our stomachs. We can adore the Blessed Sacrament being on our knees. We can uh, adore the Blessed Sacrament seating. And that is a form of adoration. 
And that is the kind of adoration we are expected. And also I need to emphasize here that we also need to do it in an orderly manner. In an orderly manner. There should not be any pushing and pulling. We need to exercise some decorum anytime we are within the presence of the divine. So that is what we, the church expects from each and every one of us when we come in contact with the Blessed Sacrament. And again, as I intimated, that it is Jesus himself, it is God himself, it is the second person of the Blessed Sacrament, of the, of the Divine Trinity rather, that is present. And that is the reason why we need to go down on our knees and worship him. Okay, thank you, Father. So what are the things you want to add to these questions that I've already asked? Yes, what I want to add is uh, very soon we will be having an order adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and also within the context of a procession. And this is normally done on Corpus Christi. The children receiving the First Holy Communion for the first time experiencing and encountering Jesus would process with the body of Christ. So therefore, the, the, the postures and the gestures are very important. And I would encourage everybody that annually we have uh, the Divine Mercy procession. And always we need to take cognizance of the fact that it is Jesus that we are adoring and worshipping at that material moment. And therefore we need to do it with all respect. The singing and the dancing is important, yes, but it should not overshadow the worship. It should not overshadow the worship. That we need to be mindful of. That the singing and the dancing and the clapping should not overshadow the worship. And any time the Blessed Sacrament is exposed, as I indicated, we need to go do down on our knees. And also observe total silence. Total silence. The singing has to die. The dancing has to cease. And what we need to do is to worship God. To worship God the Ancient of Days, to worship the second person of the Blessed Trinity, the God with us, who is present in the species of bread and wine at Holy Communion, who is also present in that monstrance we seeing soul and divinity. Thank you, Father. Thank you for watching uh, this Feta Life. And Feta Life will come your way every Friday. We, we talk to you about the adoration and the Blessed Sacrament with Father Moses Drami. And next week, we'll bring to you about vocation. So stay tuned. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. On our Facebook, please share the links and so that we'll spread the gospel. Thank you. Eternal Father, I offer you